Hey, the other day I found that shopping cart at the end of this guardrail up at the other end there. So I left today, uh, I turned this way and looked, and look what some effing guy did. <laughs> he threw a TV in here. <laughs> oh. Yes, there is a dump about seven kilometers away. Yes, you have to pay for your stuff. But holy F, man. Why not, why not dump this thing, you know, really out in the woods? Set out my yard. Oh well. I'll take it home and do something with it. Reuse. Ben! <laughs> Just a pill bottle. Yeah. I'm gonna make a video now. Oh, watch that tail of yours. See, say hi to the folks at home. Oh, hey guys, girls, fellow Romans. After a long week, it's time for another, uh, let me adjust this a bit. Uh, another uh, Friday beer video, yeah. And it is the 11th of December, I think. 2015. Hey, give me that! You're not supposed to have any fun around here. I'll tell you a thing or two. Ah, where was I at? Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, well, beer we have today is a Russian beer that Vladimir sent me. And I got some snacks too to try. Uh, if you see my video from yesterday, is when I tried uh, Mifodivka, Mifodivka, which he sent. You can see I drank that much of it. Uh, it it's it's kind of got a spicy. Uh, in case you didn't see the video last night, it's from last night. I mean, uh, it's got kind of a spicy clove, cinnamon, ginger. My first thought was Jägermeister, that kind of spices. But, uh, yeah, and boozy, uh, it, it goes on fire rather well, so I drank this much here, and then I woke up about 3 uh, a.m. Uh, out in the woods here somewhere, uh, naked, covered with chicken feathers and chicken blood, and apparently I ate one of the neighbor's chickens, or had sex with it, I don't know which, either would do for me. But seriously, uh, we have a can here, and this is called... Vladimir translate Siberian Crown. See, you have the crown there. So that's, I think, what that means is there. Siberian Crown? Maybe, maybe not. He sent me one that's near bear. It's only 0.3%. Point, point And these, the other one says the percentage. I don't think this one does. Or it's in this little, uh, this little fine little print in there. Let's see how it pours. In the Russian Space Agency mug, of course. Looks like a light beer. Light colored beer, I mean. Kind of a low carbonation. Nice pale amber, apple juice flavor, or colored. <laughs> that smell. Hmm, got a good smell, real good smell. Almost sweet, sweet but tart. Hmm, so, cheers Vladimir, and to all you folks at home, out there. Mm. It's got like a, a sweet flavor to it. Other than that, it's pretty good. I'm sure by the fifth or sixth, there would be just the greatest beer you ever had in your life. 
try it again. Mm. There's a hint of something there. I don't really know what it is, whether it's honey or... Anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I got some uh, presents, uh, not presents, but uh, something to open here, and I apparently don't have my pocket knife. Must be downstairs, but the show must go on. I carry uh, quite a few knives. So we got the Swiss, Swiss Army one out. This is the one with the locking blade. And there's a little switch here. And you gotta pull back to close it. So, let's go to this little, little, little one here. It's from China. One thing about the Swiss Army knives, they come devilishly sharp right from the factory. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Ooh. I'm seeing a lot of these little capsules. Waterproof. And these may be the chains for them. I don't know. Is that all we got? Nope. Here's some little uh, carabiner hooks kind of things. Oh, I got some of these the other day actually. Now there's some more of them. It's a little thing attached by chain and it's a little uh, bit of a diamond sharpener. And I carry one on me. I got one so you can sharpen up your knife. Just a light sharpening, you know. Not, you're not going to do any serious sharpening on this, but you do enough to keep you going. Another capsule, another capsule. Why did I get so many capsules, you may be asking? I don't know. Your guess is good as mine. Another one. They're good to carry Tinder in, of course, or medication. I carry a bigger one. Jesus. I carry a bigger one here, and inside this... What is inside there? I think a couple cotton balls, maybe some other uh, fancy store-bought tinder. Uh, a small ferro serum rod that fits in there. <clears throat> Apparently got an ape to, uh, to tighten it. Yeah, see it's all in there. Yeah, two tinder quicks in the bottom with a ferro serum rod. One of those inch long ones. Inch long. Inch long? Okay, okay, okay. And a cotton ball on the top. For use as tinder and to keep the thing from rattling around. Anyway, mostly for gifting uh, stuff I throw in there. You know, I like to throw more stuff in. Here we have a four buckle. Case with a little foamy uh, insert. Is it air? Is it waterproof? God only knows. Hey, it looks cool. You. <laughs> it's now or never. We have a red one. We have a blue one. We have another knife sharpener. Actually, I thought those knife sharpeners I got were just around here. I can't remember where I got them from. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's got like a wine-tasting beer to it. Wine-tasting taste. A wine taster. Okay, that's empty. All I got left. Oh, there's a little sharpener. That's where these little chains came in. Let's see, I got mine right, uh, right here. Like I say, just for touching up your knives. Now I got two 
two things like this. Now, what could they be? What could they be? I think they're more knife sharpening things, but I don't know. Hmm. We got a green one and a black one. Now, these are these are a sharpener that's different from those ones. These have uh, carbide sharpeners in there. And that's used, you can just hold it like this and sharpen it like that. Uh, which is good for, again, a quick sharpen up to get you going. Not lots of holes in there anyway. And here we have the black one. Uh, these don't come in mild, medium, longer grit or anything like that. Actually, I'm not too sure. Is that, bl is that black or is it gray, silver? From here, it looks like it's gray or silver. And then I move it like that, it looks like it's black. What's in this beer anyway? Are you trying to kill me? Uh, all right, so that's uh, that's it for that package. I wish I could find those other uh, sharpeners. Anyway, uh, for you people out there that I, I like to send stuff to, you may get one of these and one of these capsules in there thrown in bakshi. Ow. Oh. There's the ones I got. And they look especially the same thing. Anyway, uh... Oh, the prognosis on this beer is it's good. It's, it's good as... Like it, it's not a bad taste that it has, but uh, there's something there that's doing something. I'll give it two thumbs up, though. Oh, gee. I forgot to check out uh, some of the snacks. We'll try the uh, yellow one out here. I got yellow, red, and orange, and blue or something. Which, who asked you to come into the frame? So the little pieces of bread or toast... They like potato chips, but a whole lot better. There might be some English on here saying what it is. Anyway, I should open these earlier because they're really good for beer. Hmm. So there's the yellow uh, package of Quasta or something like that. Mmm. Crunchy as hell. I'm sending shockwaves through my brain. Thanks, Vladimir, for the beer. Thanks for the snacks. Both are top notch. And, uh. Don't talk with your mouth full, Chris. Anyway, uh, hope you have a good Friday, good weekend, and stuff like that. I may send out more videos over the weekend. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. This is Chris. Out. Oh. And Ben. Give me a paw. There. He's giving me a paw. You give me a peace sign? <laughs>